This is the true image caught on the video taken by the hiker. Whoa, that's pretty <laughs> scary. Maybe we'll have to to come to Taiwan and do a version of it. Um, yeah. Hi, Shana. This is Elisa from Double Picks. It's so honored to finally meet you. I've heard a lot of good things from your dad about you because oh, I've talked to him you. a couple of times for the sermon. He's cool. so <laughs> proud of you. <laughs> thank you. That makes me so happy uh, to hear. And congratulations on your first feature films. And you know why thriller and horror genre for you for the first films? <laughs> is it In your DNA, probably. Yeah, I think I think some level of it is probably in my DNA, but it's just really been sort of the material that I've found myself like most connected to throughout mm -hmm. my life, and uh, the sort of art that I I feel touches my emotional space the most. So it felt quite inevitable in that way. Yeah, I, I, I'm. Not sure if it's a DNA thing or a kind of being raised in that world thing, but it just just so happened to kind of land in that form. So you're connected to the horror genre. Yeah, <laughs> it's definitely connected to me. What I'm about to show you is, you know, the folklore in Taiwan that's very similar to the idea in The Watcher. Mm. I found it very. Unexpectedly, the same, identical. That's so I mean, cool. It's called Mo Shina. Literally means demon fairy, and we believe these creatures are in the deep forest in Taiwan. Taiwan oh. is famous for the beautiful mountains and the forest, and wow. this is the true image caught on the video taken by the hiker. So. Whoa. Oh, that's I find it very fascinating to me that the mm. story. I mean, the Irish legend is actually very similar to the one in Taiwan. Whoa, that's pretty <laughs> scary. Maybe we'll have to to come to Taiwan and do a version of it. Uh, yeah,、there. you need to come to Taiwan and make the full movie for us. Okay, cool. <laughs> It's very popular to do that. And the last question, I mean, as a filmmaker with a family legacy in the industry, what pressure if Any, do you feel while making the film, and how did you navigate them? Do you think your father is the watcher to you? <laughs> That's a funny question. <laughs>、um, yeah, I mean, I think the pressures are mostly、um, my kind of own internal fears of what the expectations might be, and、um, if I'm. Kind of doing right by my dad's like wonderful artistic career, so、right. it's just kind of that.、Um, but I think my approach to it is just to sort of be as pure of an artist as I can, and really work to kind of cultivate my mental headspace and my artistic headspace, <laughs> and just really kind of try try my hardest to do to do what I love. So、mm -hmm. I'm just moving from that place and and hoping. Hoping it's all good. He is the watcher to you in a good way.、Right? <laughs> yes, I think so, in a great way. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ishana. It's a、Thank、pleasure、you. to talk to you. Pleasure to talk and, to you as well. Arts from Taiwan, and hope someday you can come to Taiwan and make、yes. the floor movie for us. I would love to. <laughs> would absolutely、Thank、love、you. to. <laughs> This goddamn car. Come on.